Hi everyone, Kevin Oxner here with visualproductivity.net. In this video, we're going to cover the index view in XMind Pro. I'm just gonna head over to the Windows tab and we'll go to index view. And it opens up a whole new window. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention is I, I like this because it's, it's pretty much like a book. If you ever flip to the back of a book, you know there's an index there and usually it's all set up alphabetically. You can see that it lists things starting with the some of the symbols, the numbers, and then as we go down, you'll see that now it's in the C's, now it's F's. It's, it's, it, right now it's, it's listed everything, absolutely everything in my whole workbook. And in the XMind 7 cheat sheet, as of the time of recording, I have 17 different tabs, 17 different maps that it's cataloging, or that it's indexing in this view. So it's neat. Now beyond just looking at it and saying, okay, that's great, it lists things alphabetically, I can click down and you can see now it'll also, there's, there are seven options. We're alphabetically, reverse alphabetically. If I have markers, it'll show up all the markers that I'm currently working on. Which that's, a, that's a really neat view. Because as you go through, if I look at something, oh, this is 5 eight done, okay. Well, let's have a look at this. I can click on this. I can double click on this and just watch. I'm gonna do it and it'll show you, well, it's gonna do exactly what you think is gonna happen. Double click and it takes me to that actual view. You just can't see it because it is hidden away, and there we go. There's our, our view. So it actually takes us right to where we need to go. I have the index screen kind of big right now, but I just wanted to show you what's happening. I can always shrink it and it will show things much, much easier. Beyond markers, I can also look for labels. And I like doing labels. Now I can go through and I can look at this and say, okay, now I usually I label things for a reason. And of course that's usually to get my attention or to remind me of something. And I can go click there, double click, and it will take me to the, the actual sheet where I want to where I want to go. Boom, there we go, there's my, shows the label right there. Yeah, the last three are mostly for using project management tools when you're using this. So if you wanna look for a start date for a particular item, the end date, or an assignee, and the assignee is just the person who you're gonna have do that task. So right now, I'm the only one on my map, so I can see I've got two tasks that I've listed in this X minus seven cheat sheet that I'm going to do. And I can double click on that and it'll take me right to that particular task. There we go. So it's a nice way of going in and just seeing what you have in here. One thing I do wanna mention, and I don't like beating up XMind because I'm a big fan of it, is as far as the index view, I sometimes find if I try and flip between the entire workbook and the current sheet, sometimes my XMind will freeze on me. And I think it might partly be because I just have gigantic maps compared to a lot of people, but I find that. So I would just recommend getting it on here, leaving it on the entire workbook, or picking one and sticking with one, and going from there. If you find it freezing, if you just close XMind and reopen it, you're, you're good to go. And there you are, the index window in XMind 7. Hey guys, that's it for now. If you do wanna get your own copy of the XMind 7 cheat sheet, you can always head over to visualproductivity.net and get your own copy there. Thanks again for watching. My name is Kevin Oxner. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button or feel free to leave me a comment down below. That's it for now. We'll talk soon. See ya.